Ladies and gentlemen, the Republican report card is coming, and it's not pretty. Remember this picture? There was Arizona Governor Jan Brewer pointing at the president back in January on the tarmac in Arizona. They were at odds over Arizona's controversial papers please immigration law. And this snapshot really captured the rage coming from the right. And now the entire party is officially in lockstep with Governor Brewer's state. They've adopted a radical immigration platform. It was pushed by Chris Kobach, the author of the Arizona law and an advisor to Governor Mitt Romney. This is the GOP party. But here comes those grades I mentioned. A new NBC poll shows Mr. Romney's negative rating is at an all-time high among Latinos, 48%. And he's down with other voters. He's only got 41% of the woman's vote. And African-American voters, that's not a typo, people. He gets 0% of the black vote, zero. This is the cost of going hard to the right. This is the cost of rolling back progress. This is the cost of extreme policies. Joining me now is Patricia Murphy, editor of Citizen Jane Politics, and Erin McPike, reporter for Real Clear Politics. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Patricia, the GOP platform is the most extreme ever. How does Governor Romney expect to handle this? Well, I think we're we're absolutely going to see a Republican convention in prime time that looks almost nothing like the Republican convention that's gotten started already in this platform committee. The platform committee is the most conservative of the conservative activists within the Republican Party. Somebody like Tony Perkins from the Family Research Council sits on that committee, casts those votes, convinces those other members to come along with him in the Family Research Council. But when you, I guarantee when we get to the Republican convention next week, we're going to see a very diverse group of people in prime time. We're going to hear the governor taking a much softer tone on a lot of these issues where behind closed doors they really have been but, but much, isn't much it, more restrictive. But isn't it his platform, his convention? I mean, he can take whatever uh, theatrics he wants. This is his convention. This is the platform of his party that he's not a titular head of. It's the platform of his party, but this is not a party that is 100% behind Mitt Romney, and that's why we saw Paul Ryan get the nod to be the VP pick. Even somebody like Mitt Romney, who was so conservative, is insufficiently conservative in a lot of these areas. So, But the problem for Mitt Romney is, is when he runs in November, he's not running alone. He's running on the Republican ticket. He's going to take all of this with him. Voters are going to take all of this into the voting booth, and the question for him is going to be, what do voters remember? He wants them to remember what is in prime time. He doesn't want them to really know what's happening behind closed doors. Well, Aaron, when you look at the brand, uh, a new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll shows that 29 percent of registered voters have a very negative impression of the GOP. How do you deal with it? This is very negative. You're right, but I would also say that Patricia is right. I talked to a Republican Party official today who was irritated at how much coverage the, this meeting of the Republican Platform Committee has gotten this week because they say, well, that's just a piece of paper and we're really not going to be adhering very closely to what the platform committee goes with this week. So yes, they have a problem and they do have to repair the Republican Party brand, but Mitt Romney and how he introduces himself, which he'll be doing in a very personal way in prime time next week, is what they want voters to remember coming out of the next week but convention. But Aaron, part of the reason there was a lot of coverage on the platform is how extreme this platform is, probably the most extreme we've ever seen. Look at the platform. They want to uh, replicate Arizona style immigration laws, not allow for abortions in cases of rape or incest, push for mandatory ultrasounds. They refuse to recognize same sex marriage or civil unions, and they want to push for more voter ID laws. An extreme platform like that is going to get covered.
No question about that. They don't want that. The Republicans who are running the Romney campaign know that that, that, that is something that won't do them any favors with women voters in swing states, with Hispanic voters in swing states, the kinds of voters that they need to be winning in big numbers if Mitt Romney has a chance of beating President Obama in the presidential election by winning some of those swing states. No question it's a problem for him. That's why they want to be talking about the economy and not those issues. But Patricia, when you look at, for example, the GOP immigration platform, they would build a border fence, ban in-state tuition for undocumented students. They want a mandatory e-verify uh, system which makes it harder for people to find jobs. Go after sanctuary cities that help of undocumented immigrants. How do you uh, advocate this policy on your platform and then go in swing states or any state and appeal to Latino voters? Yeah, you know, this is actually one area where Mitt Romney is as conservative as the Republican platform committee. This is why he is the Republican nominee. He would not have gotten out of that Republican primary if he hadn't embraced all of those positions. So this is the one area I think he's going to have the hardest time distancing himself from the man that he became in the primaries to the man that he wants to be on Election Day. And you start talking about state by state where this is going to just get him in so much trouble. Florida, Nevada, Colorado. New Mexico, 40% of the voters are Latinos, and you can have a great economic policy, but if you're telling me that you want to also have my grandmother self-deport, that's just not a, that's just not going to get you anywhere with Latino voters. That's why there's a 40% deficit right now between the president and Mitt Romney. Well, Aaron, you covered uh, Mitt Romney a lot during the primaries. He was very extreme on Im uh, immigration. Uh, notwithstanding the platform now, he himself were, was very extreme. Look, listen to this. So if you don't deport them, how do you send them home? Well, the answer is self-deportation, which is people decide that they could do better by going home because they can't find work here because they don't have legal documentation to allow them to work here. I think you see a model here in Arizona. With regards to illegal immigration, of course we build a fence. And of course, we do not give in-state tuition credits to people who've come here illegally. That only attracts people to continue to come here and take advantage of America's uh, uh, great uh, beneficence. If I were elected and Congress were to pass the DREAM Act, would I veto it? And the answer is yes. Veto the DREAM Act, Bill of Fence, Arizona law. He can't become, run away from that, Aaron. He's in the platform, and it came out of his mouth before the platform. And no question that we will be seeing some of those statements run in TV ads by the Obama campaign and the president's allies in some of the swing states later this fall after the conventions. I would point out to you this. John McCain got 31 percent of the Latino vote in 2008. And we know that the Romney campaign is shooting for 38 percent. But with statements like that, I don't see how he can improve upon John McCain's numbers because, of course, in 2006 and in 2007, John McCain was on the front lines of arguing for comprehensive immigration yeah. reform. And then the extremists in his party said, no, you can't do that. Now, he argued for immigration reform and got 31 percent. And we just saw what Mr. Romney proposes, and he wants 38 percent. Okay. Patricia Murphy and Aaron McPike, thank you both for your time tonight. Inside the thank secret you. GOP plan to block the Obama agenda, we have the reporter with the details.